Welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm your teacher, Sir Puffington. Your class is just arriving to Fish Academy. Our class today is all about patterns in numbers. Good morning, Sir Puffington. Good morning, Stella. Earl, nice to see you. Thomas, always a pleasure. And Oliver, glad to have you back. All right, everyone, find your places, please. Class is about to begin. As I mentioned, class today is about patterns in numbers. When we look for patterns, it is helpful to think about what rule we are applying to make the pattern work. First, we are going to make a table. This table is not like a table you eat food at, but instead looks like this. In math, we use tables to keep track of numbers and look for patterns. Let's say that every time Stella drinks two ocean waters, Thomas drinks five wormy worms. Oh, I love wormy worms. I know you do, Thomas. So every time Stella drinks two ocean waters, Thomas has five wormy worms. Now, when Stella drinks four ocean waters, Thomas drinks seven wormy worms. And when Stella has six ocean waters, Thomas drinks nine wormy worms. Does anyone recognize any patterns yet? I notice the top row goes two, four, six. So it is skip counting by twos. The bottom row is skipping by twos as well. Good observation, Stella. Yes, the top and bottom rows are both skipping by two. But what if I make the next number on the top nine? Now Stella has had nine ocean waters. How many wormy worms did Thomas have? Well, Sir Puffington, I noticed a different pattern than everyone else. I noticed that we added three to the ocean waters to get to the wormy worms. So if Stella has 9 ocean waters, Tomas has 12 wormy worms because 9 plus 3 equals 12. Great work Oliver, that's exactly right. The pattern here is to add 3 to the ocean water amount, to get the answer for the wormy worms. 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 6 plus 3 is 9. This means we would add 3 to 9, to get 12 wormy worms. Nicely done. Time for a brain break. Everybody dance. Okay, everyone. That was a fun dance. Back to business. Let's look at another table together. This time, Earl ate 6 seaweed snack packs for every 3 cookies Oliver ate. Then, Earl ate 10 seaweed snacks and Oliver ate 5 cookies. Next, Earl ate 12 seaweed snacks and Oliver ate 6 cookies. Finally, Earl ate 18 seaweed snacks. If we follow the pattern, how many cookies did Oliver eat? Oh wow. This pattern is much harder for me to see. I don't see any patterns in the rows. I don't really either. What if we look between the two rows like we did last time? Oliver noticed we could add three to the top row to get to the bottom row. Maybe we can find a pattern like that. Oh, good idea. Let's see. Six minus three is three, but 10 minus three is not five. That must not be it. Let's try something else. I know five is half of 10. Oh, and three is half of six. And six is half of 12. The pattern must be to divide by two. Great work everyone, you found the pattern, this means if Earl eats 18 seaweed snacks, then Oliver at half of that, or 9 cookies. You guys are ready to do this on your own. Just remember that patterns can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. It helps to look at the relationship between two categories. Good luck out there, 